guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Alright then, boy. Oh, welcome back to another episode of Constructor 2 Street Wars. I am Lenin Come In It, and without further ado. So, if you remember last time, I was taking on the Barbinos, who are causing me lots of trouble. And what I need to do is take over some of their houses. But I'm going to wait for them to build some houses first. So, in the meantime, I'm going to need a crack team or fixers. These are going to be like my hit squad. Everybody else, you kind of need to move out of my way. Oh, this is annoying. I can't just select them on their own. Hello. No. Respect, Godfather. There we go. Oh, crying out loud. Yes, sir. Get They're causing me trouble already. I know, your fence is destroyed. It's so bad. Right, come on, out the way everybody. Right, so I want these fixers. I want you to come into the hospital as a way of keeping you all out of trouble. No, no, not the baby. Okay, let's repair your fence. And let us also get some gangsters. One, two, three, four, five. Let's have another gangster. So now I've got my builders, I've got my workers, and I've got my gangsters. What I want to do is take over their areas. So what would be the best one to get? Oh, they've got a level 2 property. That's what I want. So I'm going to let them do this. I'm going to let them move over here, and I'm going to take this over. Meanwhile, I could do with some more cash. So, well, I can solve that by just taking it over. There we go. They're on the move again. Hopefully they're going to go and build the gadget factory. And I want you guys as well. Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. You come here. Are you the guy that's doing the manual repair work? Yes, apparently you are. So these three are not. You come out here. And we're going to go for it. The more fixes you have, the easier it is to take over a property, obviously. They're going to kick up a stink. It'll be the, first of all, it'll be the tenants that come out and try and kill me. So, I want a gangster on hand to deal with that. Here he comes. And he's dead. Pick him up. Put him in the morgue. Oh, it looks like my builders can actually attack fences as well. So, I want to do it with the builders as well. So, I can have fixes and builders. That's fine. But I think it has to be the fixes that actually take the property over. So, they're there for the jolly. Okay, everybody out. So this is this is my little yeah. little crack squad. <laughs> These are my hit guys. Two fixers, three fixers, and a bloke builder bloke. Is that mine? That should be my barrel. Okay, this is a blue guy. So I need to go and pick up some police beacons as well. So that's what I'm going to go and do. The police beacons basically just stop any illegal activity going on in your blocks. So if they had some of their undesirables, the police would come and nab them up, which I want to stop them doing. Hello? This game is uh, this game is a little bit harder when it comes to money. It's uh, a lot more cutthroat. Yes, you can't just have massive areas of tenants to build up cash because okay. you've got to complete the missions. So oh, that's another one that I want. I want that peep show as well. Come on, boys! It's time to rumble. Let's just bring them over here. I'll wait for them all to clear off the property and I'll just take it over. Oh, there we go. That's their property done. I'm also going to need to start building stuff. You come over here. I don't want them to try and attack. Oh, that's my barrel. Let's have that. Let's have that over here. Those whistle sounds are the sounds of me getting policemen delivered to my area. Meanwhile, I'm going to need... I'm going to need to start building level 2 houses as well, so let's get a new cement factory, no, a new brick factory, sorry, and let's have some more cement. It's good, they don't complain about my factories, my tenants, which I like. I need you guys to move. And my tax bill, wow, it never rains, it pours. I've got a lot of money going out at the moment. <clears throat> I'm going to wait until they build another property, I'm not going to take that over just yet. Because you can actually stall the enemy player if you totally wipe them out. This is this is where this game gets a lot harder. Because you can't just play it your own way either. You've got to play it by the rules. If you just go out there and muller all of them now, you won't be able to complete the rest of the mission. 
because you are required to do specific things later on, which I will show you. So, yeah, this is this is really expensive, this part. I need to do a bribe of 10 grand, which I can really ill afford at the moment, <laughs> which is why I need to get some more level 2. Well, I need to start building level 2 houses because I can start getting some good cash off them. See, at the moment, the blues aren't building anything, which is not good. I want them to actually start building again, because otherwise they're never going to complete the mission. I'm never going to be able to complete the mission. Basically, I played this through earlier, and I stalled the blue player. I killed off some of his houses that he needed. Oh, good, he's building again. And you have to build a pool hall in the next mission, in the next part of the mission. And you have to wait for the enemy to build a pool hall before you can actually do it. So I'll show you all about that in a second. But they are building again, so that's okay. That'll be another level 2 property. And you know what? I'm going to allow them to have that. And I'm going to come over and take over this instead. It's a peep show. I'll take over this one. Nope. I tell a lie. <laughs> I'm just going to wait till they bugger off, and then I'm going to steal this property. I can already see that there's going to be a fix that's going to cause me some problems. Just give him a warning. Don't kill him, lads. Just warn him. Oh, they're coming back coming back this is like their prized property <laughs> they don't want this being taken over so they're gonna cause me trouble even the gangster's gonna shoot me as well but he's gonna have to walk apparently he can't shoot through the fence so boom boom oh, it's chaos just carry on with the job at hand lads pay them no attention steal their property and it's mine. I can't take it over. Yeah. Meanwhile, no, don't shoot him. Oh, it's too late. You've killed him. Go to the hospital. Go to the hospital. Sell the property. And they built another one. That's fine. You've got to let them have a bit of a fighting chance. See, I'd usually I'd just like to come in here and mull them all, destroy them, wipe them all out. But I can't do that. I'm not allowed to. You just need to keep your cash flow up. So there's a lot more to manage in this game. There's a lot more to manage. You don't seem to have to worry about overcrowding of tenants though, so that's one less thing. And you don't seem to have to worry about them dying. So that's one bonus, I guess. Okay. So now I need to buy some more land and I need to build some property. That's what I was doing, wasn't it? Yes. Let's have this. And let's have some level twos. I like in this game how all the properties are actually kind of like they're dodgy businesses. I like that. This is a peep show. What's this? This is a quack, so like a dodgy doctor. <laughs> and they can all be upgraded. I think these can be like upgraded to triple X cinemas and stuff. So they start as a peep show. A tiny little wank cinema, if you'll please. And then they can upgrade them into porno theatres, etc, etc. There you go, that's gone. Hey. Right, I want to leave them to it now. Hopefully they'll build some stuff on my... Yep. <laughs> Immediately. They've decided they're going to build a level 2 thing on my land. Car, there's no respite. Right. Wait till they've done that. Sell that and sell that. So how far am I along with my missions? I need to do a bribe of 10 grand. That should, that should cause them to stop causing me trouble for a while. It's a good source of income though. Where are my builders? Why are they not building? I've got no brick. Ah... Okay, go in the brick factory and build. Uh, excuse me. Actually, I just want the gangster to take care of him. Shoot him and kill him. And you... By the time the police come, I'll be long gone anyway. Don't worry. Don't worry, lads. Don't panic. Keep your cool and shoot. Keep calm and kill blues. I'll sell that. There's going to be a massive police presence here. You better get out of there. <laughs> After all that mayhem and murder, we better leave. That's right, mate. You just carry on building that quack. Yeah, look. One, two, three dead bodies. All right, call another guy in here. Okay, I'm doing okay for cash at the moment. It's no problem. They need to build a hospital because these guys are just going to end up dying. Look at them. They're all on their... They're on their last legs. I had nothing to do with it, honest. Oh, I almost sold it. 
Tenants. Who have we got? Dwayne Eubend. <laughs> That's not good. Herman Whiff. You know what? I need money. So it's just going to be all about the cold hard cash. So this guy, these, this tenant is the one that has the cash. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. So I'm bringing a bit more cash. I think this affects how much they pay you as well. I mean, it definitely affects the bums that come and come and spend money in there. Go on, blow that up. Oh, you've just killed the policeman. What a shame. So <laughs> I think it affects it affects these guys who use your place. I hope it affects how much they pay you in rent as well. So that's 320. 245. Let's see. Let's bring this down a little bit. And we'll see. If it doesn't, then there's no point doing it. Come on, Blues. Keep building. I really hope I haven't stopped them building now. Yeah, oh, no, I haven't because, of course, they've built this. They've got their level 2 quack. So, yeah, they're still building. It's good. It's all good. Okay. So, what was I supposed to be doing? Bribe? That's right. I've got enough money to do that now. So, here's the bribe button. One, two, three, four. That's 10 grand. It's 10 grand. So someone come and deliver this. Where's my builders? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. No, not the baby. Oh, cool. I like the animation for the bribe. <laughs> it's got someone's severed hand on it as well. It's nice. So little random things do have animations on here. You know, I sometimes, okay. sometimes see animations on the houses, sometimes down here. But I think my game might be a bit busted. So you should be getting like a little view around the building here. But I'm, uh, maybe I've got a problem with my game. Well, that's a stupid thing to do. Why have you built a tree right on top of there? Yes, sir. What's yeah, on fire? Oh, you I'll have to wait. Them with the dummy act. And now we got them just where we want them. Let's go to town. You need to build a okay. couple of pool halls. And use those boys to take up some of their houses and towns. Ah, this will be the... But wait, before you can build a pool hall of your own... The thugs from the last game. One of theirs. If anyone is stupid enough to get in your way, waste them. Yeah, like this I said, I... Fun oh, thank you. On, enjoy Please. Yourself. You've earned it. You can shut up now. Yeah, I did this earlier, but I wiped out... This better not be mine. No, it's not. I wiped them out. Where's your fixer, Blue? Go and send them in there. Everyone's going to die otherwise. Yeah, I wiped out a load of their properties and then the blues just wouldn't build anymore. I think they're just going to let this explode. They're not very clever. So I've already got the police beacons. Yeah, I, they basically they just stopped building everything. So I waited for like a good half an hour, but nothing came of it. So it wasn't very good. Enemy teenager. They really are just going to let that blow up, aren't they? Enemy baby. That's right, baby. Run for your life. Run away from the burning house. He actually is. Because usually if they, when they reach adulthood or teenagers, they'll go to the HQ, but that's just a baby. So he literally is running away from the fire. What a clever baby. You'll live to fight another day. Okay, so I need to take this over. I need to wait till this happens. They need to build a pool hall, and I need to take it over. It, he's running into my cemetery. Why is he doing that? Oh, well. So, well, I'm going to stop doing that because that animation and the noise is annoying me. Hopefully they build a pool hall fairly soon. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'll just wait. What are my outgoings? I'm not even going to look. I'm so worried about how much I'm spending. So yeah, this is the police station. You always have one on each level. But as you can see, there isn't many plots of land to be fighting over in this game. So you've got to, got to be sharp. Get your lands and build respectfully. There we go. What's this? That's a pool hall, thank God. So, where's my guys? Yeah. I'm just going to watch, oversee the building a bit, and then just steal it. <laughs> when I'm standing around on the outside of the of the builder's yard, like, yeah, it looks good, boys. Oh, I like your uh, like your building. I'm not going to take it over as soon as you turn your backs or anything, you know. I definitely want to take it over as soon as possible as well, because they're going to send these thugs out to attack me. This is like the level two well the second game version of the council tenant flat things you used to get the big uh what would you call them i can't remember the exact name for it that was in the game the tower block basically instead of all the thugs come out and attack you right no time like the present let's take it over 
Don't worry about him. Gangsters, do your job. Oh, it's chaos. Just continue killing them. Oh, leave the fixer alone. I can't. I can't leave them. I've got to kill them because they're in my way. Okay, you know what? I do need to take these bodies, though. I need to take them away. You, where are you? You, take this body. Put him in here. And my other gangster, I don't know where he's gone. But I don't mind. You, take this body. I hope it's not the police. Because I really don't want them on my property. Oh, man. It's too late. All of their workers are dead. Oh, dear. Right, it's going to be time to run away now. Run away. Run away. Yeah, they've sent their thugs out. This is bad news. Take it over, take it over. I hope they go and attack somewhere where the police are. Uh, yep. They should just arrest them. They have arrested them. That's fine. And this is now mine. Right, fixers. You run to the... Run to here. You run to here. Where's this firefight going on? Huh? Oh, that, you're shooting my own guys. Stop that. Slick garlic. You're not very slick, mate. Currently in prison? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's because I killed loads of people here. My thugs came out and then they got arrested. Or maybe it was because the enemy sent them out and then I take, took over the building. Yeah, that might be it as well. What's this going to be? I want more subways. Yes, it is. You lazy bastard. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, the blues, they've just, yeah. They just bought another property. So what do I want? I want some, oh, it's the enemy's gadget factory, of course. I want some subways. Call them in. What do I need to, to upgrade these anyway? Let's just see out of interest. Two beds. Do I, do I get them in the gadget factory? I don't know how I'd get them in the gadget factory. Maybe I'm not allowed to get them in the gadget factory. At this, at this stage in the game. Does that mean my guys are back? No, it doesn't. Right, what do I want? I want the gadgets. There we go. You're sick of having to walk everywhere. Have some of that. Okay, so who's in prison? It'll be my guys, won't it? I need them to come out of prison, actually. Pull Hall. Oh, they're really going, for the, going all out on the attack here. Don't worry. I thought when I gave them the bribe, they'd pipe down a bit, but apparently not. They're really on the warpath. I've got enough gangsters and fixers to deal with them, though. I'll probably take over. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take this over as well, because I don't like them. You've done enough damage. I'm going to take that over, and then I'm going to take that over with my other guys. Take out their tenants. Right on time. That's right. Run away. And you as well. Run away. That, guys, you really don't want to pick a fight with me. I've got shotguns. You're just going to die. It's not worth it. Oh, crying out loud. Go get him. The police are going to arrive, but I don't care. Where's my property being destroyed? I can hear it. I can't see it. Oh, here it is. Quickly. Or he's going to take it over. That's already mine. And run away. Get him. That was quick. I mean close, not quick. <laughs> Horace Dung, that was very, very bad of you. Yeah, I know your fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, gangsters and fixers. Where are they going? Stop it. What? What? Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. They're getting shut down. Oh, well, I shouldn't have lowered the uh, police bribe. Now these are going to go up because they've, they've only got three property, two properties to choose from. Don't worry, everyone go to the hospital. Chill out there. So what was I doing? I was waiting for my guys to come back out of here. Yeah, that's it. So kidnap a te tenant, torch someone's building. Let's do that. 
Let's torch a building. They've got no police there. And that's what I like to see. What's this? A brickyard. They're going up in the world. See, they wouldn't have been able to build any of these properties without the brickyard. This is what I mean. They just cheat. Check this out. I'm going to wipe it out. They've already got a fixer in there. But I don't care. Because the building with some petrol bombs should go up in flames very quickly. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. That's it. They are sending their thugs on me though. Where are my gangsters? Right. Guys, you're required to sort out some problems we're having. Where are they planning on going is my question. <laughs> How rude. Did you not manage to destroy the building? It should blow up soon. Keep an eye on them. Yes. That is it. That's how we like it. That's right. Get rid of them. And I'm also getting another fence destroyed. See, they are relentless. The enemy on this game are relentless. Yeah, very convincing. Now I need to kill one of their tenants. Well, you really don't want to give them. Give them an inch and they will take a mile. I also want to take over. Do they have any more tenants? I can't do that. I can't do that. You know what, I'm, I don't care. Get rid of them. Get rid of this tenant. Where am I? I just sent my fixers and all that to go and attack. Oh, for crying out loud. Stop him. And I need another fixer. Woo, this game is tricky. Uh, fix. Where's the, this gunfight over here? You guys, you should all be taking over the tenant, shouldn't you? I thought I just told you to. Right, call off the mission. I've got to be careful because now I've used up one, they've only got another one. What are you doing? Go and repair that house. What have I done with all my guys? Oh, they're all standing here. I see. Get out of there. So I've got to... How do I do this? I've got to get them out of their building. So this means paying for it and then waiting for them to come out. Okay. Let's do that. Let's manually repair this as well. Because I haven't got a guy down there to repair it. Okay, let's... Uh, this is hard. Timing. It's all about timing. I've got to wait until... Well, maybe I can just go in. Yeah, I've just right-clicked. Let's just take him. That's right. Kidnapping people. Oh, man. What are they doing now? Kill him. I wish, see, I wish you could get... You're supposed to be taking the tenant, people. Oh, no. Maybe I click torture. Nope, they have taken him. Good. I thought they were torturing because they're throwing petrol bombs around, but they're reckless, reckless assassins. Probably the worst assassins in the world. This means I can get some money out of him? I think it does. You take, it, you take him for ransom. And they have to pay you to have him back. Yeah, very convincing. We sure fooled them. I've already... Okay, so I've done it, but I still have to build another pool hall. That's irritating. Hello, Oi, okay. somebody get that dead body in the morgue. Okay. okay, so... Even though I've taken one over, I still need to build one. So, everyone go in here. I'll repair this. And I'm going to build a pool hall. I'm also going to take over some of their businesses, because I'm pissed off with them. Ah, oh, this is annoying. I'm going to have to build it the whole... This is a lot of money. Yeah, just build it. I don't care if I leave space. Looks like I don't get council inspections either, so it doesn't matter if I leave a little bit of space. Yeah, do... Can I actually ransom this guy off? No. Apparently you just take them and that's the end of that. Right, build this. Build it. Get a few more people in here. I should be almost done with this level, basically. I'll wrap this up in a minute. I'm just going to build this pool hall so this mission's done. And I'm also going to take over another one of their properties as well. Because they've got too many properties for my liking. Here they come again. Bloody hell. There's no rest. There really is no rest from the enemy player. Let's go take them over. I don't want them torching any of my buildings. This is another problem in the game. Look, since the reds have been taken out, I've taken over their their area and destroyed them rather, but you can't take over their land. 
So that is forever. Ah, oh, I seem to completed it. There we go. A small community in Nebraska. Various criminal elements from out of town have caused mayhem in this previously peaceful community. We go live to our on-the-spot reporter, Jim Flynn. I am standing outside City Hall, where the entire police force had just been arrested by the FBI, supposedly for accepting bribes from a local gang. I understand that several bodies have been unearthed in unmarked graves, and that certain local hoodlums have disappeared without trace. I have with me here an eyewitness who claims he saw a mob slaying take place. Sir, where were you when you saw these events? Well, me and Jeb were up in them woods trying to catch us a rat that's been chewing on his mama's foot these past nights. And I says to Jez, why don't we put some jerky in a bucket, and when the rat comes to get it, smash it with a rockin'. Yeah, but, but what about the murder? I didn't see no murder. But this morning you told me that you saw a murder take place. No, I got it wrong. This Italian guy with the big hat told me to say nothing. He said that he was burying his uncle up in the woods and that his uncle was already dead. His uncle sure was nosy for a dead guy, though. Howling and hollering, especially when they kept knocking him back into the hole with a spade. I will let you listeners come to your own conclusions. This is Jim Flynn in Hicktown, Nebraska. You want to buy a rat? Go away. <laughs> you sure got a pretty mouth, city boy. <laughs> okay. Another news today. A severed leg was found in a shopping bag near 54th Street bus station. Okay, sounds like these are English guys doing some pretty bad accents of American people here. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was the end of the first mission. I have been a lot of come in it. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this, then do consider subscribing to my channel. Like I say, I'm playing through a lot more of these games, and hopefully we'll finish this one up in a couple of weeks as well. Uh, if you've been playing Constructor 2, do comment down below as well. Tell me how your playthroughs have been going. I'm always interested to find out how other people play these games as well. So, uh, until next time, uh, thank you and a good night.